how I would learn cybersecurity if I could start over. Okay, this is a beautiful question. Love it. I love all the questions. I love all the video ideas. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. If you're new, welcome in. Feel free to subscribe if you find this valuable only. Okay, if you don't find it valuable, I'll see you again in the future. If you find that valuable, go ahead and hit the subscribe. If you are returning, welcome back, like the video. And uh, you know, as always, comment below. Let's have some conversation. You guys know I conversate good and bad comments. And I do match energy most times. So the bad comments sometimes get the bad side of me. I'm not some cutesy YouTuber, right? I'll give you what you dish out. Anyway, let's get into it. So learning cybersecurity, if I could start over, do it all over again, what would I do? Okay, so I had a, like a non-traditional path of learning cybersecurity. I was somewhat interested in it a long time ago, like 2014, uh, like 2016. And I got uh, Kali Linux and I just kind of started poking around, you know, I broke things and I had to reinstall it, uh, the operating system again, multiple times. Okay, so um, there are different ways to go about this. You know, I think the best way to learn anything is to get hands on. That being said, that's what I suggest. I suggest going nose deep. Look up videos about Kali Linux, okay? How to install it, how to update it, how to, you know, install your packages, and just kind of generally understanding Bash, right? Because that is the language of choice for Kali Linux, you know? Um, that's, that's pretty much how you interact with the operating system is Bash commands, okay? And learning that way, it teaches you a lot. Just kind of be a bull in a china shop, okay? Whatever you do, you might not know how to revert it to the last known good state, but you'll know how to reinstall that operating system. And it will happen multiple times, likely, okay? Don't be afraid to fail. And that's one of the biggest reasons to start here is teaching yourself not being afraid to fail. I think there's a lot of philosophy that I could go into, but leaving that aside, look up Kali Linux videos, how to install Kali Linux videos. I actually have a video on how to install Kali, Kali Linux. So I'll go ahead, I'll link that here. You can put that to the side uh, for now, you know, uh, and of course watch the rest of the video to get an idea of the question that you have, which is how to start, you know, fresh, you're brand new. So yes, Kali Linux, that gives you an idea of that operating system and kind of how it maneuvers, right? And having an understanding of what is there, the tools that are there and let your curiosity guide you. Okay. Let your curiosity hold you and take you away. Whatever you see that seems interesting, click into it, right? Look up tutorials about those things on YouTube. And of course, be safe. You need to do everything legally, okay, under the law. You're learning things, okay? So don't try and, I, I'm not going to say, wait, yeah, I can't say something that I attempted for about a, another year, um, <laughs> and then legally I can speak on it. But I attempted something, it didn't hurt anybody or anything like that. But early on, I did attempt something on a device that I had somewhat control over just because I was curious, right? Um, in fact, it's probably legal actually. So I probably can speak on it, um, but I won't <laughs> uh, yet. Um, but anyway, yes, be legal, but be curious. Make sure that you are doing everything in a controlled environment as well. Um, I won't go too deep into that. Those other videos and tutorials that you see, I'm sure they will go into that. So yes, be a bull in a china shop. That's the first thing I would do. Get Kali Linux, okay? The next thing you can do, now that you just kind of have like a general understanding of the uh, cybersecurity professionals playground, more on the red team side though, right? Uh, which is Kali Linux. That's the playground for them. 
um, we need to go into what what is it, right? Get into the theoretics and the vernacular or jargon, okay? So the vocabulary of cybersecurity, okay? And to do that, I would study for the CompTIA Security Plus, okay? You've heard it a million times. Again, I have another video of how I completed the CompTIA Security Plus in eight days, about a week, a little over a week. I forget the exact time. It's been a long time now, but I, I believe it was like eight days, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's possible. Again, it's not about the speed though. I just created that video because it wasn't something that I had seen before. But yes, it's about learning and understanding the terms, right? When to use words, what those words mean, how those words connect, okay? So that's what you would get for studying for the CompTIA Security Plus. And of course, you can obtain that certification if you choose to. I definitely suggest it, uh, suggest it if you would like a, a, a job in uh, this field of cybersecurity. Okay, so you have your Kelly Linux hands-on experience. You have your, uh, you know, blue team, but also like red team, but just general cybersecurity uh, understanding through that CompTIA Security Plus, then I would do an entry level red team hands-on course, okay? And obtaining that certification if you please. Of course, if you're doing the work, you might as well get the certification as well if it's in your budget. I will tell you guys something about uh, a budget kind of towards the end of the video and what you can do if you don't really have a budget or excuse me, if you have such a tight budget that you can't really afford you know things that are like a hundred dollars it makes sense so i'll kind of tell you something at the end it is not a code or a link or anything it's kind of like a cheat of something that you can do uh, in order to get di major discounts on things and again this is not this video is not affiliated with anything okay and it is nothing like that so it's just like a a tip but anyway, yes, some kind of red team, you know, uh, ethical hacking course or cyber uh, or, or uh, yeah, course or just ha hands on certification. Uh, what I did initially was the EJPT. Uh, you can do that as well if you want. You can also do the PNPT. That's considered a more intermediate level uh, certification, but you have the course, if you study the course extensively, you'll be able to get that certification. And again, there's a couple quotes I have to leave you with. One, we are sponges. Whatever box you put yourself in, you will expand to meet that. So don't be afraid to kind of go out of your comfort zone and do an intermediate course. Because that course is gonna have any, that course will have everything in it anyway. So just study the heck out of that course until you really understand it, okay? But you don't have to do that. You can also do a beginner course like the EJPT. So there's that. Uh, the other quote I have for you is, um, jump and the net will appear, okay? That's how I got here. If you've seen some of my videos, you saw how I got here. I was almost homeless. I just put everything into this. And thank God, you know, by, by the grace of God, all glory, um, I succeeded to, you know, get, get a job that changed my life forever. And it continues to change my life. And I'm blessed and I'm thankful every single day. So jump and the net will appear. And the reason I bring this up, right, the context is, again, choose to do something harder, right? Choose that intermediate course if you want right of course it's all about if you want but you know jump and the net will appear just have faith in yourself that you are smart enough to understand these concepts right all of us started from nothing all of us started from not knowing anything you can learn this it's i don't care how old you are okay i'm 28 at 25 years old i said something has to change and I changed. 
right? And they say at 25 years old, uh, the male mind kind of stops growing as much as it was or something like that to where you, it's harder to learn. All of that is fake, okay? All of that is fake. You can learn anything at any time. So just do it. Just go out there and do it, okay? So that tip that I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna tell you now the tip, if you cannot afford things like these, 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 these coursework, these certifications, find the support email address and email them. Say, hey, I cannot afford this, whatever it is. Do you guys have some kind of coupon, right? I asked that one time and they gave it to me for free. I'm not gonna say you know who it is or what it is because I don't want everyone to go over there and asking for free things because it is worth the money, but I just didn't have the money. So whatever you are interested in, reach out and, and ask, right? Closed mouths don't get fed. So just go up there, ask, hey, I can't afford this. Do you, do you have a coupon? Don't ask for it to be free, you know, like I didn't ask for it to be free. He just said, here's a coupon and it was free. It was like $200 coupon and it was free. So that was awesome. But yeah, you know, just ask about a coupon so that maybe it can be something that you can save up and afford eventually. Okay, so that's a little hint I have for you or a tip I have, you know, every video I like to give as much uh, just value as I can. So that's something valuable that I learned along the way as well. Okay, so those are th just three steps right there that I would learn if I could start over again, I would just do those one, two, and three. That's what I would do, okay? So thank you guys for watching. Again, if you found this valuable, give it a like, subscribe if you're new. I look forward to the next videos, content that I can provide for you guys. Of course, if you've been sticking around a long time, you know I'm transitioning into machine learning. So if you're interested in that, definitely stick around. I got a lot of content coming up. I'm very excited to share it with you guys. So until next time, man, be safe. Thank you.